Welcome back, everybody, to the Taco Collective. Now, I know I normally start with a uh, opening video, some memes and all that, but I wanted to take this time to inform my fellow creators or anyone that you know, at least watches my videos to be careful of some situation that's going on right now. Apparently, there's this channel, or at least this string of channels, that leave comments on your videos that say... Things like want to be friends or something like this includes comments like that in their comment. And apparently, if you interact with this comment, like subscribing to their channel, for instance, uh, apparently your channel can get hacked. Now, I've learned this information from some other YouTubers that I normally watch, and the situation seems pretty crazy. I have received these spam comments on my videos before. And I didn't really think much of them. I knew they were bots, so I didn't really interact with them too much. But luckily, I didn't subscribe or anything like that. So, if you guys do happen to run into those comments on your channels, please, uh, the only thing I would suggest to do, if anything, is either just to not interact with them whatsoever, or report them as spam. But just don't do anything more than that, otherwise your channels could be hacked. So... With that little info out of the way, let's get started with this opening. Alright everyone, today we will be jumping into the new Magic the Gathering Ikoria Lair of Behemoths set. So this is the bundle box, I believe that's what they call these. Now the reason I'm opening this first instead of a booster box is because that I ordered uh, it's, it's still coming in in the mail. It won't be here until the end of the week, I believe. So I just ran to the store and bought one of these real quick so I can get something out while the set is still fresh. Now, too bad I can't get same day delivery for a set that's brand new. I don't know how other people do it. I assume they go to their local game shops or something, but sadly, I do not have any local shops anywhere near my area. All right, so what are we going to be opening up here? So, we got 10 15 card booster packs. We got the box, of course. We got the oversized dice. We got the 20 premium foil and 20 regular basic lands and an alternative art premium foil colossification card. What what is this? Hmm. Well, anyway, I do know that this set contains the Godzilla, the Godzilla card. Now that I'm excited for, I am a Godzilla fan. I hope to see not just the main boy himself, but maybe some uh, Ghidorahs, maybe some, uh, some Mothras. I don't know if they actually included those in here, but that would be awesome to see. So why don't we just jump into it and see what we got. Alright, as you can see, we are using our Force of Will mat. It's a beautiful mat. Sadly, I do not have any Magic the Gathering mats to use. I've been thinking about buying one, and then I just completely forget about it. it just leaves my mind. But I'll get one eventually. Alright. <clears throat> so, what can we expect to see from this? I know there's that special uh, Godzilla card. It has the uh, apparent no-no word of today that we can't use. So we have our security. And what do we got here? Join, Vivin. Uh, whatever this is, I assume this is for MTG Arena, where it just tells you how to play. Fun game. I might, might not stream that at some point, but we'll get there eventually. All right, so. Do they include these in every bundle box? These uh, little extra boxes or just little stepping stools. Which is nice because it just gives you something extra to put your cards away in. And of course, the main box itself. Now, before we get there, let's take a look at what we got inside of the cover here. Oh, so instead of having multiple art, we got an extended art here. So here we got the uh, the kaiju right there with, I don't know her name, but I know she's been in Magic. But I know some of you Magic bros should already know who she is. 
So that's pretty nice. That's a little different than the other ones. Normally they have like three separate pieces of artwork in these things. Now, for the main event, the box, which is actually, you know what, pretty nice looking. Nice mural looking thing going on here. I do like that, a little cutaway design like that. Nice little box. All right, so let's put this away. Let's see what you got inside. All right. Hmm. Normally they got a whole bunch of extra stuff in these things, but they all kind of stuffed it inside that. So we got this oversized die. That's actually pretty nice looking. Not too bad. I like this. I do, however, like the Throne of Eldraine one better because purple is my favorite color, so that's a little more nicer for me. Okay, so what do we got here? I hadn't seen these before. So these are some kind of tokens, apparently. Menace, First Strike, Hexproof, Life Link, plus one, plus one, Reach, Flying, Trample, yep. Tokens, or whatever those things are called. These are apparently explaining the attack and block and the different forms of magic that you can play. Which is pretty cool, knowing that there's more than one way to play a card game. So here we got our basic lands. And here we got, not only do we have our special box topper promo thing, Colossification. Which looks like uh, just a giant slime or, so or something. And I would say our hollow land as well. Now normally, people don't consider these interesting, but I just, I just really like the magic artwork. There's something special in that, that while I love Pokemon, it's just something that they don't have. So we got Colossification here, and this is a rare. Enchantment Aura. Talk later. Row now. Alright. And I will be showing the prices on, on screen. And wow. Something I'm always just in awe of. When it comes to magic cards. The artwork. Planes. So what are these, like crystal shards or something? Lands, ooh. I like that orange sunset look and all that. Some islands. Very nice. Ooh, that looks real cool. Oh, I like the uh, violet color on that one. Alright. I think I liked Throne of Eldraine better. It just... <clears throat> I'm not saying that this doesn't look good at all. See, this looks great. I like that. But Throne of Eldraine just had a very, very nice fantasy vibe about it that I really much enjoyed. Swamp, Mountain, Forest. Alright, and I gotta say, these cards feel hella crisp. They feel real nice. The quality... They're definitely putting quality into their cards now, not like back in Amenket or... What was the other one? Hour of Devastation? Yeah. I got a few packs of those. And I gotta say the quality was... Well, not quality. It was actually pretty garbage, to be honest. Very upsetting. Alrighty then. So, here is what we are after. Ooh, damn. It feels good to hold a full wad of sexy packs in your hand. So here we got... Oh, that's sick. Was that King Kong or something? I think King Kong is licensed by Universal and not whatever company it is that partnered with Wizards on this. So they can't exactly use King Kong. So I know they have an ape in here, but it's not King Kong. It's something else. And we got a bunch of other artwork here. Pretty cool looking. I wonder if they put Godzilla on the front somewhere. But it doesn't look like it. Nope. Too bad. Alrighty. So... Let's put these here, and let's get started. Oh man, these packs, I gotta tell you, I know I've said this multiple times before, I think these open easier than, all right, there we go. These packs just feel good to open. 
unlike Pokemon, man, they just they just feel so so satisfying. Okay, so I think in the last ones I've opened, they've had the token on the other side. I think they flipped these. Okay. So. All right then. So we got our comments first. Thieving Otter, Blue Otter. Damn, these cards feel great in the hands, I swear. Got some quality going on right now. Okay, so we got Blitz, Life Leech. Blit, Blister, Spit, and Gremlin. What's up with these names? It's hard for me to... It's twisting my tongue right now. Okay. Blade Banish. Okay. Capture Sphere. Some kind of, uh, frack. <laughs> What's that? What's that freaking movie called right now? Jurassic Park. There we go. That's what I was thinking. Mutual Destruction. The art looks nice, but I gotta say, Throne of Eldraine really did it more for me. Adventurous Impulse. Solid Footing. Dreamtail Heron. Humble Naturalist. Boon of the Wish Giver. That's kind of neat. So we're in Uncommons now. Alright. Clash of Titans. Regal Leosaur. Alright. Sea Dasher Octopus. And this is our rare. Now I'm pretty sure this isn't near the top. So I do have the TCG player up right now. Just so I can see what's, what's good and what isn't. And, well, that one wasn't. Wait, what? Is this? Oh, Alright, land. Scored Barons. And our token, Human Soldier. Alright. So what do you got up next? We got a... Not King Kong. Alright, I gotta open them like this. I like them opening like that better. And Pokemon, I gotta really try hard. Alright. So we'll go straight for the rare on these one pack you look through the artwork next pack we go straight to the rare reconnaissance mission tight titaneth rex looks pretty cool blitz of the thunder raptor and our rare is cub warden i don't think this one's at the top i mean why would it be nope the ones at the top are actual godzilla characters from what i can see all right, but yeah, apparently the Godzilla card, oh, come on, has uh, the death C word that we cannot say these days without getting, well, just screwed by the algorithm. And my channel is too small right now to really be dealing with that. Prickly Marmoset? <laughs> that face, bro. Startling Development. Groom Pangolin. Frenzied Raptor. Evolving Wilds. What is that, like lava or something? Okay. Facet Reader. Mig Migratory Greethorn. So I think these should have a different type of art name, but I'm not sure what they're called. But if you ask me, I like it when artwork stays consistent in a game. Divine Arrow. Glimmer Bell. That's a very colorful jellyfish. And Dotha Crystal. Oh wait, this is in Uncommon. All right. Primal Empathy. Auspicious Sterix. Mythos of Nethroi. I like that artwork. Looks pretty cool. And that is nowhere near the top. So we still don't have anything sick. We got a hollow. Solid footing. Windscarred Craig. Land. And a human soldier. All right. And I guess I'll put my hollows over here. 
Right, next pack. But yeah, that, it excited me when I first heard about this set, that they were going to include Godzilla cards and all that, which is, I got excited, yet also just, it was just kind of weird too. Like, really? That's kind of an interesting thing. Oh, that looks cool. Not, not a, uh, a team-up that I would have expected to happen. So we got Boone the Wishgiver. Alert, Heed Bonder, Void Beckoner. Oh, that looks pretty sick. I like that lightning. And a rare Karuga, the Mac the Macro Sage. These freaking names, bro. Legendary creature, a dinosaur hippo. Okay. And uh, that doesn't look to be near the top. Like I said before. Looks like all the ones at the top are all the Godzilla characters. Which I've yet to see. I really want to see one. Now, I would have liked to have gotten some kind of uh, collector's bundle box. But, uh, come on. They're all going to open like this, huh? But, uh, I haven't seen any yet. I guess they just got the regular ones for the time being. And they got their collectors inside. Like, uh, single boxes. Greater... Sunworm, another blue water, mutual destruction, looking like Monster Hunter, Spell Eater Wolverine, red lightning and all that, that's pretty cool, Adaptive Shimmerer, okay, big insect, Cloud Piecer, Honey Mammoth, looking like Copper Jaw over here. A Volpakeet. Interesting artwork. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just... I Like I said, I like it when the artwork is consistent. So I do kind of don't like... Whenever a game has... Just too many different types of artwork. Migration Path. Uncommon. A Regal Leosaur. Okay, so we had a Leosaur, right? And this is, I guess, it's different version. That's nice. Nice comic book type artwork. Swallow Hole. We got a rare. Indotha Triome. Huh. Okay. Well, it's not near the top of the list, so... Another bad one, I suppose. Oh, and we got a Hololands. Cool. Got a forest. And uh, another land, Swiftwater Cliffs. Now, what are these lands, by the way? A triple land or something? No, double lands? Not sure what you call these. But all right. Now, at the, for the time being, this set is still very new. And currently on TCG Player, there is no buy list. So I'm just going off of the... Um, I'm just going off the market prices for now. So obviously, by the time you, you guys see this video, most likely things have changed. So when it comes to magic, prices can change very quickly. Okay. Damn, these cards feel real nice. Neutralize. Ooh, this looks cool. Trumpeting Gnar. I like the coloring on that. Fuck, I swear, these, these feel real nice. They smell alright. I always They always say that uh, magic cards have a different smell to them, and they smell fine. Clash of Titans. Hey, hey, we got a mythic! Luminous Broodmoth. Well, it's not Mothra, but it is a mythic. So let's see, is this... It is... It is on the list. However, only the extended art is counted as being near the top. And I don't think this one, well this one should not be the extended art. Still, it's a mythic nonetheless. So there's our first pull. Whether it's really good or not, I'm not sure I'd have to take a closer look. But all right. Okay, all of them are opening like this now for some reason, okay? Now these shouldn't be scanned boxes. I know lately I've been looking at a lot of uh, I've been really inspecting my packs. 
But I got these straight from the store. So they should be fine. Unless there's some shady players over there in Walmart right now. Ferocious Tiger Rilla? Okay, this is a combination I've not seen yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at this thing. A freaking... Who the heck crossbreeded a tiger and a gorilla? I mean, why not, right? A, <laughs> a cat ape. From a certain perspective, it's an inspiring story of overcoming obstacles. Okay. Whatever you say, bro. Bristling boar? Convolute? Pretty convoluted. Yeah, I would say so. That looks pretty cool, though. Whatever the hell is going on here. Durable? Coil bug? Raking claws? Thieving otter? What are you? What are you? What are your guys' thoughts on this set? Cause I'm getting an odd. Um. Dang, what was that set? For I can't remember that set's name. Helica Glider. Okay. Was the it was the magic set with all the dinosaurs and whatnot? It didn't do too well. Essence Scatter. Okay. So we got an Uncommons lead the Stampede. That rhymes. Boneyard Lurker. Valiant Rescuer. And I'd say that's not a good thing that it reminds me of that set because they didn't do good. I didn't like the dinosaur thing either. Quartzwood Crasher. This is our wear. And that is nowhere near the top. Alright. Blossoming Sands. All right. Next pack. Damn, these feel good. Oh, all right. Ugh. Damn. It's no re-glue, but these are a little tighter than the other ones. I do hope I get a Godzilla, though. Or a Ghidorah. I do like Ghidorah. All right, and this one we're going straight for the rare. All right. Wingspan Mentor. Sprite Dragon, very colorful. Easy Prey, okay. Inspired Ultimatum is our rare. That's one hell of a cost. I mean, not that I would know. I don't really play the game so much. Inner peace is wonderful and worth striving for. Outer peace is much less important. Okay. Well, that's cool looking artwork, but it's still nowhere near the top. Here we got our foil blossoming sands. Planes and buy more magic. Two more guys. Come on, give me a Godzilla. Give me a give me a kaiju. I want to see something cool. Now, more than likely, I will once my order comes in. But I want to see something now. Anticipate? Well, I'm anticipating something sick. Come on. Night Squad Commando. Shredded Sails. Mysterious Egg. That's pretty cool. A good forge if you can find it. But eat it before you get back to Sanctuary. The guards won't let you bring it through the gates. Hmm, some kind of kaiju egg. Must taste delicious. Startling development. Bush meat poster. Po poster poacher. Checkpoint officer. Fire prophecy. Thwart the enemy. Snare tactician. And we got on common storm wild. Caprador. I'm actually surprised we're not seeing like the uh, Godzilla characters in the other cards. Cunning Night Bonder. That looks pretty good. I like the purple, of course. Rooting Moloch. And our rare Ketria Triome. So this is a borderless or something? Land, Forest, Island, Mountain. And we got our triple land energy here. This looks pretty neat, but sadly, this is not near the top. Dang, we haven't got anything near the top. 
That's pretty sad. And a jungle hollow land. Well, neat artwork nonetheless. I do like the violet going on in there. All right. Last pack. This has got to have a really cool Godzilla card in it. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't have to, but I really hope so. All right. Come on, guys. Give me your best bro fist energy. Let's see what we got. Watch champions rise. All right. Let's see that champion energy in this pack. All right. So we're going straight. For it. I like that color. All right. All right. All right. Damn, these cards. <laughs> they just feel so damn good. Polywog Symbiote. Generals Enforcer. Chittering Harvester. That reminds me of the... Uh, what do you call those things in uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim? I don't remember. <laughs> but uh, the choruses, whatever you call those things. And oh, we got a we got a King Kong over here. A King Kong. A Kogla the Titan Ape. That's our rare legendary creature. And this card is I don't think it's near the top. Nope. Damn, our luck with this right now. Those are pretty cool. Swamp. And a Kraken for the token. I like that. That looks really cool. Very neon looking. <sighs> but yeah. Wow. Normally I have great luck with these types of boxes. But we just got an absolutely terrible box. The only pull we got was this Luminous Brood Moth. For a mythic. It's not even near the top of the list. Now I'm sure prices are going to change as time goes on. But for the time being, we didn't really pull anything great. Well, maybe next time. So we definitely got more stuff coming in the mail. So look for that guys. I'm still wondering if I should, should just do a ASMR. For the booster box I got coming for the Ikoria. Because... Opening an entire booster box takes just it just takes too damn long, and I'd rather just do a I'd rather just do an ASMR for that because it it's simple, it's quick, and it's uh, those videos are pretty nice to watch whenever it's late night and you're trying to go to bed. So I might go that route. I have another bundle box coming in and two collectors packs. So definitely look forward to that. So if you guys could like, subscribe, leave a comment or suggestion, ring that bell button so that way you're alerted for any new videos that are coming out. And if you're not subscribed to my uh, Instagram, make sure to follow that for content that I don't normally put on this channel. And BitChute, I am trying to get more content on there for you guys, but uh, yeah, the site's kind of been weird for me trying to upload things. But... With that, guys, I'll see you next time. Remember to keep on collecting and keep on sharing. See ya.